Uh, greetings, God of Gold, back again for a, another quick video. Now, I've noticed that there has been a series of events that, you know, been going on with Gmod as of late. And according to what I know, this has been an issue going on for the past few months. So, um, currently I am still trying to find details but I will explain what I know so far and I'll try to go in as much detail of what I know as I can. So if you look to your left on my screen, you'll see that Nintendo, or at least Nintendo related uh, franchise add-ons, 20 years worth of it on Gmod's workshop is apparently being taken down. Now. I have been hearing reports, mainly of articles or users that were in a panic, and these articles say that Nintendo was legitimately involved in taking these down. Now, because of my skepticism, I have a hard time believing, because as bad as Nintendo has been in the past, I doubt they would do something this heinous, because um, Nintendo has been very anti-consumer for some odd reason. They don't, like, whenever you make money and you try to help promote them, they obviously want a share of that. They have been known to be a greedy company in the past. I'm not going to go too deep into their history, but that's all you should know for right now. If you want to learn more, you're going to have to look up past records, but for now, I just want to go over this topic. As bad as Nintendo is, I doubt that they would do something this heinous, because Gmod add-ons are free under fair usage. That means all credit goes to the original creators of the franchises and the groups involved in the add-ons like core premise, whether if it's a model, a player model, an effect, a weapon, or even a map. And this has been happening for a bit, and according to recent reports, um, I am getting stuff that it is not actually Nintendo doing this, because I'm hearing reports of a so-called imposter or someone who's pretending to be Nintendo or working with Nintendo to try and flag and take down content forcefully, basically bullying into them being taken down towards the community of the Steam Workshop. Now currently, it is unknown if there's any further details of what has happened to Aaron Peters, and that is the guy that we have been hearing about all over the place, claiming to work for Nintendo, in actuality well, from what I've heard, he's not. Um, honestly, I think this is probably true that he is an imposter. And if this is the case, um, this is actually technically illegal for him to do. Because if he's impersonating Nintendo, or at least pretending to work with them as an official or some kind of moderator basically someone who is scouting the media for anything that Nintendo could capitalize on. But like I said before, I doubt Nintendo will go this far to destroy free content like this, even though that there is no money going into these add-ons. As far as I know, there is nothing. So. Let's say that um, all these add-ons are being deleted and this guy has been bullying everyone into doing it. And so far he seems to be pretty successful, but because of what happened, it's caused a panic. And a lot of people have pointed to Nintendo on this case. Now, of course... This is information of what I know in regards to this topic currently. 
I will probably make a part two of this, or part three, if you guys really want me to try to cover this, I can do what I can. Um, and if you look on the Steam Workshop, in response to everything, a lot of people, again, pointed to Nintendo, but I'm going to be clearly honest, and I say this with respect, I don't know if some of these people actually know who the true culprit is, despite the fact that if this person, Aaron Peters, is truly involved in destroying these sources of content on here, and if I type in Mario right now, just as an example, you'll see that there's a lot of Mario-related stuff still on. Granted, the original uploads, I would say anywhere before 2020, a lot of them have probably been destroyed. But there is an archive to these add-ons. I, um, Someone, I forget the name, uh, the name is in the description down below, but they've done an incredible job trying to archive all these add-ons, potentially for future re-upload once the dust settles, which I seriously hope they do, because these add-ons do not deserve this kind of treatment. This is heinous, and if this person, this imposter of Nintendo, is ever caught, I would safely assume that Nintendo would definitely bring him to justice. Granted, I don't know if it's going to happen anytime soon, but or if this guy is just some kind of strange internet troll, I will never know the full truth because I've literally was recently hit with this like notification of the whole thing. Um, a friend of mine, which I will um, basically say that he loves these add-ons, and I it's a shame that all these have like have been going. So, um, I, this just recently came to my attention, and it's, it's a big shame. So, um, I will probably do some more research on this, and try to see what's going on. I don't think there's any more takedowns as of today. A good amount of them have been re-uploads. And this, well, Mario 8251, I don't think that's it. But yeah, so as heinous as Nintendo is, I doubt that they would ever do this. So take a lot of articles with a grain of salt, because chances are they may not be telling the truth. So um, I wish you all a good day or good night, depending on where you are, and then I'll see what more I can investigate. So, that's it. So, take care.